Observe a human society and you will find many busy people engaged in activities that benefit them, another person, or a group. These social behaviors evolve to help our species survive. Observe a highly structured ant colony, and you will also witness complex social behavior. Many individuals hard at work, some caring for ant eggs and larvae, others defending against intruders, or seeking, transporting, and processing food. A single ant can carry several times its body weight and travel surprisingly far in a single day. Unlike humans, who typically plan things out when there is a job to do, ants seem to go about their tasks with no planning at all. However, a closer look shows that individual ants specialize in certain activities. This division of labor can vary by age, but is mainly allocated by phenotype, the ant's physical characteristics, or genotype, its genetic makeup. Some ants are soldiers. In some species, they have huge mandibles and larger heads than the smaller worker ants. In most ant species, all the workers and soldiers are female. There are three times more females than males in some colonies, and the biggest female of all, the queen, has just one job to do, lay eggs. There is no boss telling ants when to do their jobs or training them how to leave a pheromone trail for others to follow when they find food and carry it back to the colony. They are biologically programmed to carry out their tasks. Pheromones are biological chemicals that cause a response in other members of the same species. Ants use them to communicate to others, leading them to food, mates, or a new home. Despite all the seeming efficiency, up to half of the ants in the colony are mostly inactive. They will only carry out a task when there is no other ant available. Why are there inactive ants in a colony? Is this also a part of their biological programming? And if so, what purpose could it serve?